Alex, you're chasing the story. It's a story of corruption, New York City politics, and a mayor that may want to get reelected. What do you got? Bill, Manhattan U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara is on a mission. And he's got two of the most powerful men in New York, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and Governor Andrew Cuomo, directly in his sight. The U.S. Attorney in New York is a strict law and order guy. If, if he thinks that there's corruption here, then his office is going to be full steam ahead. That's Fred Tichy, a former assistant U.S. attorney who knows of what he speaks because he prosecuted corruption cases for the U.S. Attorney's Office during his time there. I talked with Fred to get an idea of what to make of the widening federal corruption investigation that's ensnared both de Blasio and Cuomo in recent weeks. It broke wide open last month with the news that the FBI was investigating the NYPD and moving into Mayor de Blasio's inner circle. Uh, those investigators are joined by ones from the state who are looking into whether de Blasio and his people broke campaign finance laws when they tried to get Democrats elected to the state Senate in 2014. You know, there's an old adage, right? When there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. So, you know, if it was one investigation, okay. Two investigations, okay. But there's five. The state is looking into whether de Blasio himself violated campaign finance rules. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, Don Peebles, who could be a candidate for mayor against de Blasio in 2017, said that he was asked personally by the mayor for 20000 for upstate campaign committees to try and get these Democrats elected. Mm. De Blasio hasn't responded to confirm or deny what Peebles said, but insists he's done nothing wrong. The federal investigation started with Philip Banks, who's a former chief department at the NYPD, among several NYPD commanders who were receiving side income from city businessmen. It said that Banks got up to a half a million dollars from these guys, doing everything from special gun permits to police escorts. And Banks himself had an interesting trip to the Dominican Republic, according to the New York Post, mm. where he got some in-flight service on a private plane. This private plane was chartered by Jonah Rechnitz and Jeremy Reichberg, two developers who contributed heavily to de Blasio's campaign, and that's what led federal investigators right into de Blasio's doorstep. Todd Howe and Joseph Percoco, close uh, Cuomo confidants who worked for both him and his father, Governor Merrick Cuomo, got their homes raided by the FBI two weeks ago. Something's going on, and Barrara recently had a message for both de Blasio and Cuomo making a TV reference. He said, stay tuned. This is not like the games that I thought were going on in New Jersey with Bridgegate and the Legislative Committee, everybody posturing. This is the feds are in, there's an investigation, homes are being raided, yes. evidence is being collected. The next step is to get people, put them up on charges, and flip them so they can make a case and... Then, then we'll see indeed. how far Preet Bharara is willing to go. Right. Thanks, Alex.